divorce from those relate unholy relationships. So a lot of us are making decisions and we're telling people, well, I prayed about it and I have faith God go work it out, you know, and, and the word of God says that prayers of the righteous availeth much. Um, you know, faith comes by hearing again by the word of God. I go to church, so I know it'll work it out. But really, you don't even have a relationship with God. You know, your relationship, the foundation isn't, um, the foundation isn't sturdy. It's, it's like the house built on sand and it looks really nice. It's right on the coastline, but this house doesn't have foundation and you have another house that isn't as luxurious as the house on the coastline, but this house has real foundation. And that's where I am now. And I thank God because I used to be the house that was built on the coastline. I had no substance. I was only saying the things that I've heard or had been taught to say. I learned how to quote the scriptures. Um, I learned how to do the praise walk and, and I learned how to do all of that, but there was no substance. It wasn't really sinking in because there was so much of me that I hadn't really submitted and completely surrendered. A lot of us surrender, but not wholeheartedly. So it was only until, you know, I got to the point where I could care less what anybody thought about me. I got to the point where, you know, people couldn't pressure me to do anything I didn't want to do because I finally knew who I was. I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing. And once I got that focus, I had the foundation to build on. Yes, I'm still single. Yes, I'm not married and having a helpmate or being a helpmate probably would be easier. No, I haven't made the decision because I'm not there yet. There are some things that I need to work on. And I think before, not even just following our dreams, but before we, you know, before we get into a relationship and get married, we need to make sure we're whole. We need to make sure we're where God wants us to be and we're doing what he wants us to do. Um, you know, and, and when you don't, what happens, you bring another person into the world that you have created for yourself and a lot of times because we don't really know who we are because we think we're somebody we're not they end up marrying somebody that they really don't know um you know and i hear some people that that have been married or are married say you know i don't know who this person is this is the person i fell in love with and, you know, and I hate that because I know what's going on and I, I know why they feel that way. And I completely understand, uh, you know, and in the black culture, especially in African-American culture, we are suffering from from so many men having babies and not being there to be a father, not a dad, but a father to these children. The, uh, you know, the black culture is just going down. And, and not to say the women aren't at fault because we're the ones that make the decision to, to have sex outside of marriage. And we know some of the implications and, and we know some of the consequences that can come from that. So it's on both ends. But my point in saying all of this is, and I'm not wasting 10 minutes of your time because I was really inspired to go ahead and do this video. My point in saying this is make sure it's right. Make sure it's God. Make sure that... You are who you say you are. Get to know yourself. If you take a break from school and, and you just work, or if you just take a break period and just focus on soul searching and who you are and developing a foundation that's going to hold you through anything, you will not fail. That's where I am. I'm not where I hoped I would be. I'm not where some of my peers are that started off with me um, and we were doing some of the same things. I'm not there, but I'm in a place where I know who I am. I have the foundation that I need and now I can build on it. I, I operate on a higher frequency. You know, it's a funny thing. I hate to kind of rear off, but when you get, when you get to a place where even your own opinion, you stop exalting your opinion above what the word of God says, your frequency increases. You operate on a higher vibrational level spiritually. So what happens when the enemy comes to you and he's offering you this fruit 